Over the past 150 years, it's been everything from a beer hall to a wedding venue. Yeah, but a local landmark in Zambroda is also something else, the last functional covered bridge in Minnesota. In this week's Maury Stories, Maury Glover takes us on a trip back in time. Nestled near the heart of Zambroda, Minnesota, there's a bridge from the present to the past. A lot of people have uh, very fond memories of walking across the bridge, riding across it in sleighs, pulled by horses, and uh, it was just a, a vibrant part of the community. This wooden structure does more than just connect a park to downtown over the Zumbro River. Windsor, let's go. It transports just about anyone who crosses it Come on. to a simpler time. If you look in the inside there, you've got uh, actually six layers of timber coming together. Wayne Radke is the chair of the Covered Bridge Task Force, a group that works to promote, protect, and preserve the historic bridge. A lot of stories about people who uh, uh, ignited romances here and, and spent time with their girlfriends. He fell in love with the intricate architecture after moving to town more than 25 years ago, where it has been a pillar of the community for more than 150 years. I think the bridge is, is a central icon uh, to the town and uh, a lot of people associate the covered bridge with Zambroda. The two just kind of fit together. The bridge was originally built back in 1869 and was covered three years later to protect it from the elements. Pioneers from New England who settled in the area brought the trendy town lattice truss design with them because it was popular in other bridges on the East Coast. Well, all of the other ones had washed away that were put there before that. Needed a means to get into Zimbroda, I guess, so they had, had to build a, a better, stronger one. For more than half a century, the Zambroda covered bridge carried horses, carts, and eventually cars. But MnDOT decided to replace it because motor vehicle traffic was getting too heavy for the bridge to support. Instead of demolishing it, the bridge was moved to the Goodhue County Fairgrounds, where it served as an exhibition hall, a warehouse, and even a beer garden for a couple of years. Isaac Walton used it for small animals during the fair for children to go and see mostly. And it had a bar pretty much the length of the bridge, which was 116 feet. So it was the longest bar in Goodyear County, at least during that time. <laughs> By 1970, the townspeople began to recognize the bridge's historic significance and moved it to a park back in town, where it hosted weddings, parties, and the annual Covered Bridge Festival but frequent flooding threatened to damage it beyond repair. So they put it back over the river, about a thousand feet from where it originally sat. I think it is a, uh, a testimony to uh, the good people of the city who, who want it preserved and cared for and kept. They just value it highly. Over the years, the bridge has become Zambroda's main tourist attraction, and it is on the National Register of Historic Places as the only timber truss covered bridge left in Minnesota. A winter storm caused the roof to collapse a couple of years ago, but construction crews were able to restore it using the original blueprints and 1860s building techniques and materials. These days, the bridge only carries pedestrians, but there are plenty of nods to days gone by, like the sign over the entryway warning of a $10 fine for driving on it faster than a walk. You go through the bridge and you see all the initials carved of so-and-so love so-and-so, and behind each of those is a beautiful story of, of some wonderful people. Because when it comes to keeping the bridge's history alive, this small town has got it covered. Well, I'm sure hoping that after it's got all fixed up, uh, providing we don't get nailed by a tornado or even bigger storms, uh, she ought to be good for another 150. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Even if it is damaged again, it will be rebuilt. I was going to say they're very determined to make sure that bridge stays alive. So no matter what happens, it's probably safe. Seeing all those initials in there, just so many. It's like, so much right, history. So many stories to be told there. And the foresight of the people that came before that to preserve it is amazing. Yeah. And to have the blueprints still. Wow. If you have an idea you think would make a good Maury's story, shoot us an email, maury at fox.com.